What's up everybody, this is Ven, and I welcome you to the Mock Spotlight, where we take apart what you build. For today's episode, we'll be going over Tatera Moa, created by Ice Monster and found on Brick Shelf. Now before we get started at looking at this creepy, freakish thing, let me go over the review process to show you how it's done. Based on three fundamental attributes, the overall appearance of the mock, the build of the mock itself, and the concept and ideas behind the mock creation. Sorry, I had a bit of saliva build up there. Each quality amounts up to five points, leading up to a final score that will be determined at the end of the episode. And please remember that this is all based on my opinion. So let's get this started. Okay, so at first glance, this is really hard to not look at. I mean, doesn't this thing just look like the stuff of nightmares? I mean, I'd be lying if I said that that face wasn't the first thing that caught my attention. No, no, it was the pretty looking tail. It, no, no, it was this face. This freakish face. Like, if this thing existed in real life, and regardless of the size, I would not like to meet this thing in dark alleyway, or light alleyway, or any kind of alleyway, or anywhere at all. This thing is scary. But on a more serious note, that's a really awesome looking creation we have here. All boiling down to the fact that I actually feel intimidated by this face. This face is really well constructed. I mean, it turned out really good. There's so much detail in it, so much character. Without a shadow of a doubt, this is the highlight of the creation. But don't get me wrong, the rest of the mock is actually pretty good looking as well. For such a simple color scheme, I can't say I've seen green and red mixed so well together on a Bionicle mock unless it was like Christmas oriented or something. And I really like how cohesive this design is, it just flows all together so well with this overall smooth yet somewhat jagged aesthetic, kind of evoking a scaly appearance which is necessary for a lizard. I would even say that this use of the Hero Factory torso with the abs on it is a pretty clever decision because it actually does look like there's scales on it. And these front legs are also pretty neatly designed. The parts that were used here just flow together so seamlessly into this natural looking shape. And I guess right there, that's, that's the one thing I can say to describe this mock, is that it looks so natural. As if it was based on an actual lizard that existed in real life. Now, the only thing that doesn't look as natural is just the end of the tail here, because it doesn't really follow the same flow. But I guess, to look at this in a more positive light, it's pretty reminiscent of like a dinosaur tail, like a stegosaurus or an ankylosaurus, with this sort of weird deformity at the end of the tail. So it's not the most jarring thing that this creation could have. Now back to the head real quick, my Goodness, this is just so well done. I can't get over this. These menacing looking teeth and those crazy evilish eyes and it even has nostrils. I feel like this amount of attention to detail in a creature's face is pretty rare nowadays in a Lego creation. I mean, I have seen it before, don't get me wrong, and I think those people do a pretty good job on their own merits, but this is some pretty high quality stuff. I mean, this is freaking crazy, dude. Like, man, it's not goals right there. Like, if you don't think that this is the least bit cool, th there's something wrong with you. But now anyway, not much else I can really comment on or critique. This is a really good looking mock. So with that said, looking at the build, also gotta say, it looks really good here. Looks very structurally sound. The mock supports itself on all four legs, and it looks like it does that pretty well. And I'll be darned if I didn't say that this isn't, like, one of the best usage of parts I've seen in a while. That head, man, that head is just a really clever build in of itself. The rest of the mock is also pretty well built. Looks like all the right pieces were used in the right places, especially in these front legs. Also, a pretty clever thing to note that he uses these Mahiki masks for the knees of the back legs. But in the end, it's just so impressive that all the pieces he used were used in a way to evoke this lizard-like appearance 
throwing in some smooth scaly textures and whatnot. Now one thing that is a little concerning is that since there are so many small parts that are being used here in the face, it's a bit concerning because it looks as though they could probably fall off. And I'm mostly referring to the parts that connect through these small hooks and pegs and such, which mostly construct the facial details and whatnot. That's just a minor concern, I can't exactly dock a point here because of that. Another thing to point out is that this mock also has some semblance of articulation, though it is a little limited from what it seems. Like some of the joints appear a little blocked off in the hind legs, and the tail doesn't look like it can swing freely from the body. The head looks a bit limited in of itself, but it looks as though the midsection of this body is actually flexible. I could be wrong. I'm going to assume that it's not, because even though there is a bend there, I can't see like actual any actual hints of movement capabilities. Like nothing really makes it apparent that this portion can actually move or articulate and such and such. It looks bent, but does it actually bend? I don't know. So while it's a fairly impressive build overall, there's nothing all too crazy being thrown into the mix. Now moving on to talk about the concept behind this creation, first thing we do is ask ourselves, what the heck is this thing supposed to be? And the answer is, some sort of plant lizard. Well, at least that's what it says in the description of the gallery. Literally just plant lizard, spelled in an ingenious stylistic method. And with this, we can infer that this thing is supposed to be some kind of lizard that uh, involves itself with plants in some capacity. I mean, it doesn't look like a plant eater. I mean, those vicious teeth looks like uh, looks like it could visit a garden and eat the gardeners. Now, I think it's safe to assume that this creation takes some inspiration from real-life lizards in its design. Like, the first thing that comes to mind is the horned lizard and the bearded dragon. For these horn-like features on the face and some details on the body. And I'm also going to assume that this takes some inspiration from dinosaurs. Mostly the Ankylosaurus, as I mentioned earlier. As a matter of fact, I'm really confident that the basis of this mock's design was mostly inspired by the Ankylosaurus. With the spikiness and then the weapon tail and this sort of curvature on the body. But definitely not the face. Everything else, though, checks out. And as you'll notice, its posture is very different from modern lizards. Modern lizards typically just crawl around on their four legs, not really standing upward like this creepy thing does. But you know what does stand up like that? Ankylosaurus and other dinosaurs. I mean, you could probably say the Komodo dragon stands up a little bit too, but really, what does this look more like? But as far as the face goes, again, I have no clue. That is very unique. That's probably the only thing that really sets this apart from other lizards that actually exist. Because everything else uh, looks a bit typical. Well done, but nothing all too crazy. Very good job overall. In the end, I can't help but ask what really was the inspiration for this mock. Like, I wish I had a bit more information on that. But, uh, maybe that'll come back to me in the future. For now, let's move on to the final scores. In terms of appearance, this mock receives 5 out of 5. This is a really cool looking mock. It's got a very nice color spread and the aesthetic and everything just looks so natural. Like everything flows together so well. And this head, man, this head is the, the, the selling point right here. Part of me wishes there was a little bit more to this mock than just this crazy looking head and those long fingers in the front. But then again, I feel like any more than this would be a little unnecessary. As far as the build goes, gotta give this a 4 out of 5. This is a really nice and solidified build that does the job perfectly. However, I feel as though the articulation is a bit limited in some areas. And with that, it might be a little bit cumbersome to get this little guy in some different dynamic poses. Also, I think there might have been room for a function in the face. Like, maybe. And as far as the concept goes, gonna have to go ahead and give this a 4 out of 5. Only because I don't really know what kind of lizard this thing is supposed to be. Like, the body has the aesthetics of a lizard. You got the scaly sort of appearance and having the stature of a dinosaur and this freakish, freakish face. But with that said, it's very unique for a lizard. 
and that's definitely to be appreciated because every idea that was thrown into this little creation looks to be executed really well. But I will say that the mock probably wouldn't look as impressive if it wasn't for this head. Because honestly, you take away the head and the mock is, uh, it still looks good, but just not as impressive. So now we move on to our final score. And our final score is a whopping 13 out of 15. Overall, this is a really great looking creation. Good job, Ice Monster. Hope to hear from you since I found you on Brick Shelf. And I'm looking forward to seeing more out of you. And the same goes for those of you actually watching this video. Please be sure to check out our message boards at board.ttvpodcast.com and check out the LEGO Creations category where you are free to post your own creations and gaining yourself a higher possibility of me recognizing you and possibly throwing you up on the mock spotlight sometime in the future. So, again, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time.